Well, we've got another knife from outside the United States from another country that I have never had a knife from, I don't think. This is from Poland. Okay, this is uh, a KD Custom Knife. Here is his contact information. And uh, here is a little bit about the knife. It's the Ar uh, Arson model. And it was loaned in from Alex over at the Watch and Cut channel. Yes, you're going to see a bunch of knives from Alex. He just sent me, I, I did an unboxing a couple days ago, 18 knives. Uh, some of them I'm going to combine into one video. I think the GECs I'll just do as a video. But <clears throat> yeah, you're going to see a bunch of knives from Alex because that's what I have. And then I have a couple other boxes coming. And I'm going to be out on vacation for a while. So I'm banking up a bunch of videos that are going to post while I am gone in Utah. Going to be in Moab, Utah. I go every year around this time, and it's fantastic. So let's dive into this KD Knives Arson. Comes in a cool box. Nothing super fancy about it. Just a hard plastic case with some foam inside. We'll put that off to the side. This is pretty cool, but it's not perfect. But there is no perfect knife. There really is not. Um... There's close to perfect, and this might be perfect for some, but it's not perfect for me, but this would be a good user knife for sure. My one issue really with it is the flipper tab I don't really love. It's small, it's rounded, zoom in so you can have a look, if it will focus. It's a little too smooth and my finger falls off. It doesn't really miss fire per se, but it could use either some jimping, a little bit bigger, a little bit different angle. It could just use something. I mean, it works 99% of the time, but it's a little uncomfortable for me. But other than that, it's a pretty cool knife, I'm not gonna lie. Reminds me a little bit of a Chavez, just because of its neutral handle, its overall kind of shape and style. Uh, and this is really just, there's nothing fancy. It's a good work knife, made in Poland, runs on bearings. I'll put all the specs down below. Um, thin behind the edge, 0 0.01, so it's just, it's a thou behind the edge, so it has a very full flat grind that goes down to nothing, so this is going to do some really good work, and it's comfortable in the hand and comfortable in the pocket. Has a lanyard tube, if you're into that lanyard uh, hole, I guess you should could say. Titanium, S35VN, and bearings. I mean, can you really get much better than that? Doesn't need to be fancy. It's got some bronze anode hardware and clip. I mean, sometimes, a lot of times, less is just more. Do we need to get super fancy with our knives? Not really. Because when they get too fancy, you don't want to use them. I know I don't. I don't I don't use the battle that often. I don't even carry the battle that often. It is going to Utah with me because I'm going to hook up with a friend of mine there who has a battle so that we can compare and take some pictures together with them and you know whatnot. But my Frank Fisher battle goes out on like special occasion because it's too fancy for a daily carry knife. Whereas this is perfect for that. It's nicely done. It's got the custom features that we like. It's got the attention to detail. But if you take it out, you get it scratched, you use it, you're not going to be too upset about it, okay? That's what I kind of love about the production series Hellraisers. 
I could take this out, scratch it up, ding it up, whatever, and I'm not going to really care. If I take this one out and it gets scratched up or damaged, I'm going to care more. This one does get carried more than I thought it would. The clip is a little bit big, but it's comfortable in the hand and it works well in the pocket. But it is different. It, it's crazy detail. Took yet a long time to make, but yeah, the clip was concerning to me if I would really carry it with it. But I do. I carry this one a lot as well. And I use this one more than I would the Damasteel one. But here is just a plain Jane, really user knife. And not that expensive. I saw some online in the 400 range, you know, on Arizona Custom Knives. There's a couple of KD knives there now. One is like, one is an arson, has a bunch of speed holes in it and stuff. I think it was like 400 bucks. Not bad at all, guys. If you can get one in that four to 500 range, it's really a nice knife. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. I would love to hear your take on kind of a custom plain Jane. Thanks a lot, guys. I greatly appreciate it.